gentlemen, this is it, the unification match of the welterweight titles of Reign and Eternal. Let's check it out. In our blue corner, weighing in at 77.5 kilos, four fights and two victories under his belt. He's trained by Ben Vickers and he fights out of the MMA clinic. Fighting out of Perth, Western Australia, he is the current Reign welterweight champion, Jack Della. His opponent in our red corner, weighing in at 77.4 kilos, has an unbeaten record at four fights, four victories. He trains under Joel Zepasfari and fights out of the combat lab on the Sunshine Coast. The current eternal welterweight champion, Ty Duncan. Expect yourself to protect yourself at all times, or I'll have to do it for you. Make sure you listen to my instructions at all times. Go back to your corner, come out fighting. Three five minute rounds of MMA action, A class rules. Thomas Churchill, the man in charge, our referee. <laughs> Round one. And here we go the unification bout, a super fight between the eternal. Uh, welterweight champion Ty Duncan and Jack Della, the reign champion. Um, this is a beautiful fight between two welterweights that are up and coming fighters. Uh, similar in, in approach to fighting, um, but much different outcomes. As Ty gets the takedown very, very early, taking the fight where he wants it. Both pressure fighters. Ty likes this kind of fight. He'll grind on you, he'll make you work until you make a mistake, and he'll absolutely capitalize on it. Sometimes he'll make you make a mistake that you think you're doing the right thing, and he'll make you pay for it. Della back um, up to his feet already. He prefers to throw the leather. Already getting into it now. Um, both pressure fighters, both um, similar in many ways, but also different in um, a, a number of ways as well. I just don't know how this fight is going to turn out. Ty turning it on. Yeah, they're both coming out with intent here. No one's mucking around. We're going, we're going for the takedowns. We're going for punches. It's interesting to see how we're going to go here. We're seeing as uh, Ty Duncan's a bit more of a jiu-jitsu fighter on the ground. He might be looking to finish this game with a submission. Whereas Jack Dell is with that wrestling background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was at Wrestling, wrestling Nationals. I actually got to see him there. And he, as he's taken down again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jinxed him. Yeah, I did, unfortunately. Sorry, Jack. Um, yeah, two, two different styles of grapplers. Two different styles of fighters. Two different styles of strikers. But they're just so similar in a lot of ways as well. They pressure. They come forward. There's that fear of not wanting to make a mistake because they'll capitalize on it. Ty, usually with a rear naked choke finish or some sort, sort of submission. Um, and Della with just absolutely laying the knuckles on you. So I hunting the back there early on. Now he's fallen, unfortunately, down to his back. Holding on tight here because he doesn't want Della to be punching here, but he's doing a good, good strategy. There's he needs to avoid those elbows. Mm. There's that underhook that's um, going to be much of the battle, but Ty, even on his back, he's no slouch. He's not just a, a top-fighting sort of Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He's a, an amazing grappler like Brett, uh, sorry, uh, Glenn Pettigrew, who we saw before, who just dominated on top and then got a funky submission. Um, he's a, a training partner of Ty, so um, neither of them are slouches, as you can see, as he gets back up to his feet. Yeah, without too much trouble there. Kicks off the cage. Nice, using the distance. Yeah, why not? Keeping Jack honest. Blocks the kick there. The unfortunate thing about this fight is that both boys are champions. And um, I like both of them. I like watching them fight. Um, Ty's fight against Tristan was amazing. It was such a, such a fast-paced chess battle. And Della's fight for, um, to capture the reign title. And the unfortunate thing is that one of these boys has to lose. Beautiful setup for the, for the uh, attempt of a single against the cage there. Deep double unders and turns it into a takedown into the guard. Going for rubber guard. Interesting, interesting, interesting grip there for the rubber guard. Ty doesn't worry about it. He's able to jump his leg over. Was that half butterfly position you alluded to earlier? Yeah. So what happens here is uh, Della's got the left over hook over there, blocking that arm as a post. So as his right foot is the hook, he's going to use that right foot to sweep over to his left side, blocking the left arm. He does have to get um, off flat of his back, though. Well, choosing to escape his hips out. He's going to come up for the single. Nice. As he works his way back up. How evenly matched is this fight? This is unreal. Both are tagging each other. Um, Ty is getting him down, which is definitely scoring him points in oh. my book. And now he's opening up. And right as Both I say that, 
Well, as I say that, Jack turns it on. What a hard fight to score. It's back and forth between these guys. It's not like a back one and one strike. It's a back combo. Back six, back six. I have six, you have six. Yeah, exactly. And now a takedown from Della. Man, whoever's going to win this fight is the guy that can move forward. Just under 60 seconds remaining in the first round between these two guys. Come on, let's hear some noise. There's so much in this like stylistic matchup that you can sink your teeth into as Della takes a um, takes a top position and maintains it. As you can see here, Ty, it's a bit hard to see from this camera angle what he's doing. He's doing an unusual half guard lock here where he's trying to stop Della. See the lock he's got down there on the feet, the lockdown. Mm. What he's doing here is being able to stop Della getting his hips as high to be able to rain down. So what he wants to do is extend that leg forward so his hips go flat on the ground, taking away half of the punching power. Right. Unfortunately, the cage is going to limit a bit of that stretch. It'll be very interesting to see if this um, can work in Ty's favour, if he can wall walk. But um, it looks like Della's just pressuring down and keeping that elbow and the forearm in his face as he rains these strikes, not letting him up at all. Well, this cage position is unfortunate. Last 10 seconds. Della happy to just sit here and work. Matador punch. And around one, Whoa. don't forget the after what party around. tonight. Is that Mackenzie's right here with the Southport Sharks? Love to see you there. Don't forget too to make sure you follow us on Instagram at Eternal. Ladies and gentlemen, seconds down. Big thanks to our charity tonight, Alive. Suicide is the highest killer of Australian youth, and the Alive charity is for the prevention of youth suicide and mental illness. They are up the back. Please go and check them out. As we get into round two. Very interesting from Ardella. He keeps changing um, positions. So going from orthodox to southpaw. Right now we see him in the open guard position. That's a southpaw versus an orthodox. As he's turning it on. The body shot. Watch him. He's coming in. He's looking for the finish. That's over. And it's all over. Della hits him with a body shot that drops him and then finishes off with a TKO. I thought that hit from here, Jake. Yeah, that was a really, really punishing shot. Twice Corona coming immediately. We start off round two, but the clock only gets down to 19 seconds of round number two. And the fight gets stopped by the referee due to punches and a TKO. And our winner, and still the reign welterweight champion, and now the eternal welterweight champion as well. Put your hands together for Jack Della. I get murky, they get wrong. If you got a G8, bring it out. Most of real bad boys in the south. If you wanna do me, something I'm about. I'm not a gangster, I'm just about me. See my man up there with a the pouch. They wanna use my jacket loud. All of my mind, they move so foul. I might sing by your soul down. Nowadays, all of my souls.